Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the overkill command and what that allows us to do is it allows us to find hidden lines within the drawing that are extra lines that you may have drawn for measurement purposes or other reasons and it deletes them. It takes all of them and deletes them. So again, not to get confused with hidden line types, these are going to be hidden lines within the drawing that you do not need. They are unneeded lines in the drawing. So that being said, should be a little bit of a shorter lesson, but let's get into it. Real quick, before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We just hit 500 subscribers. It gives me a really good understanding of how the videos are doing, how the channel's doing overall. If you like the video, give it a like down below. If you think this video could help someone else, give it a share. If you want to see anything else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section below. All right, so as discussed earlier, there are times where your AutoCAD drawing will have a bunch of different drawings or lines or pieces in them that you do not want in the drawing itself. For example, if we zoom in on this weird odd shape, you'll be able to see that there is this extra line right here. There is maybe this one. Is there one? There's one right there. Now that's just one single line. Uh, let's see. So there is a half one right there. None right there. They're in occasional spots, if you will. And we don't want these. Now, a common reason why these lines exist is partially because of your snap feature. So for example, I'm going to come up here, say I want it in the halfway point, I'm just going to draw a line, go to the halfway point, and then draw another one. So we now have a secondary line that exists right here. The way we get rid of these lines is we are going to use the overkill feature. So overkill is going to be in your manage box up top and it's going to be right here. Now you can type in overkill in the bottom line as well, but for this example, we are going to just click it up here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the objects that we want to find the extra lines with. So in this example, we are just going to select this entire thing. And then we, once we've selected the objects, we are going to click enter. And then it's going to bring up this box. So we're not going to deal with the options right yet. We'll go to that in a second but I want to go up here to the object comparison settings. You're going to want to keep the tolerance where it's at. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just let it run normally. We don't have any other things that we have to worry about like color, layer, line type, line weight, or thickness. So we're just going to click OK. And as you can see, now there is no secondary lines that exist. So for example, when we said we, there was a line right here to the midpoint, no line now exists. So that's just a very, very cut and dry version. All right, so say you have this drawing right here and you're gonna add, you accidentally added a line right there and then we'll say a line right here. And then you also have three magenta lines right here, right here, and right here. Now. These three magenta lines you want gone, but when you go to the manage button right here, you go to overkill, select your drawing, click enter. You have nothing clicked in the ignore object property. So you click okay. And as you can see those first two lines disappeared, but your color lines did not. Your magenta lines are still there. So to get rid of the magenta lines, we are going to click overkill again click enter, and then we are going to say ignore. We don't want to worry about color. We don't care what color it is. If it's a extra line in the drawing, we want it gone. So we're going to click OK. And as you can see, once you overkill function this, now the magenta lines also disappear. It gets rid of anything overkill and it will completely just wipe it away. Again, the same thing goes also with the layer properties. So you can do color, you can do layer, you can do line type, you can do line weight, material, thickness, transparency, all things you can ignore if you choose to use the uh, overkill function in this type of setting. All right, so there's one other thing that I want to show you with the overkill function. We've primarily focused on the ignore objects function. I showed you about the color. Again, you can do that with layers, line types, uh, everything else, right? But I want to show you something else. So if we have a line right here 
and I decide that there's another line, but there's an opening between the two when I do the initial drawing, and then come back again for revision and decide, oh, I want this closed up. You can see that there's actually three lines right here. Now, some might say those are overkill, some might say they're not. To me, those might be overkill. The final drawing is supposed to be an enclosed line. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the Manage button. We're going to click Overkill. We're going to highlight it. And again, this is three lines right now. We're going to click Enter. And we're going to come down here to Options. So I almost always keep the Optimize Segments with Polylines Options on. Um, you'll have to play around with it a little bit, but for me, that is one thing you are going to want to keep on. This next one is where you're going to want to either have it on or off if you wanted to keep the lines or you want to not keep them, right? So we're going to turn this on, and since it's on, we're going to click OK. And as you can see here, I have connected all three lines into one single polyline. All right, so for the last little bit of this video, we're going to jump into a real-world example, and I am just going to create or pretend to create a room. So we're going to draw the first wall right here. We're going to draw another wall right here. This opening that you see here is the doorway. We're going to go up with it right here. We'll go right here. Draw this wall. Draw another one right there. We'll create another doorway right here. And then come up. And then we will also take a measurement right here to section another wall off. That way we have a extra piece we do not need. We will also insert a red line as a firewall. And then we're going to pretend like we took a bunch of measurements and we actually are redoing the draft and we do not need um, this second doorway. We just need one doorway. So we're going to close it off. Now you have a couple extra pieces in here and we don't need them. So we want to keep the firewall, we want to make sure this line stays as one, and we want to get rid of this measurement line right here. We're going to select it all, the overkill function, and we want to make sure the red line go, stays. So we don't want to ignore color, we want to make sure the combined collinear objects that are partially overlapped is on, and it looks like everything's good. So we're going to click OK. And as you can see here, now this line is one, there's no extra line right here, the red line stayed, and these lines all have one individual line. Everything is neat and clean in your room example. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you found it helpful. If you want to see anything else done in AutoCAD, again, leave it in the comments section, and I appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day.